welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another chalk roast beef recipe, but this time I'll be doing it in an oven bag. To get started, here are the ingredients I will be using. Here I have my chalk roast beef and I've washed it in some lemon juice. It's about three and a quarter pounds. And here are the seasonings I will be using. I have my green seasoning. I will be leaving the link to that in the description box. I have some onion powder, some black pepper, garlic powder, some complete seasoning. I have some Saison tropical seasoning. I have some paprika, some roasted beef base, and I have some seasoning salt. Now let's get started. So next, I'll combine the wet seasonings and the dry seasonings. And I will use one tablespoon of that roasted beef base. You don't need a lot of that because it has, you know, the salt content is high and it's very flavorful. You don't need to add a lot. And with the dry seasonings, you go light on that also because you don't want to make the beef salty. And I will combine them all, mix well, and then I will start applying it to the beef, massaging it gently until all surface is covered. And then I will let it sit for about two hours. Now, usually I will let this sit overnight or for about six to eight hours, but I do not have a lot of time today. I'm in, you know, quite a bit of a hurry. We are taking the kids to the pumpkin patch farm and, you know, I got to get this done, you know, quickly. So I will let it sit for about two hours and then I'll be back to show you guys the next step. So here are the vegetables I will be adding and I have here some thyme, some celery sticks, carrots, onions and some potatoes. You want to chop these really large because they will be in the oven for hours and you don't want them to become mushy. And I have here some complete seasoning, seasoned salt, black pepper and some garlic. Let's continue. So what I'll do here is season my vegetables before I add it to the bag and I will add all the seasonings and just mix well. So this is the bag that I'll be using. It's a large oven bag by Reynolds and this is the size of the bag and it comes with some little like ties which you seal the bag off when you finish putting your stuff inside so yeah so what i'll do here is add the beef then i will add the vegetables to the bag and then i will seal the bag up and get ready to place this inside of the oven this recipe is super simple and easy you guys all you need to do is season your meat, season your vegetables, add it to the bag, and let the oven do all of the cooking. By the way, you do not need to add any liquid to this because the beef creates its own juices. You will see the amount of gravy I will have in this bag from just that beef. So we will get ready to place this inside of the oven, but before we do that, we will seal the bag up and we will poke some holes in the bag because you want to release that air while this you know cooks in the oven and you know even though this is a simple easy recipe it is super delicious you guys if you try it you will not be disappointed the way i season that beef alone is just top tier it's bomb the seasonings i used it's super flavorful and i will get ready to put this in the oven then I'll show you guys, you know, how it turns out. So it's obvious you need to place your bag into a baking dish before you put it in the oven. So this is what I did here. I have my bag in the baking dish 
And now I will place this in an oven of 350 for about three hours. So I just took this out of the oven and this is how it's looking. I will now cut the bag so you guys can see how it all turned out. Now look at all that deliciousness guys. Look how tender that beef is. I can simply break it apart with my fork. Super tender and delicious. And look at all that gravy. That's the natural juices from the beef. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. It is absolutely amazing. Okay guys, so this is my version of a chuck roast beef and potatoes in an oven bag. Now you guys know I will usually get fancy and I would play this up on a nice serving dish. But today I'm in such a hurry, I gotta run. So I do hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I will leave all the ingredients down in the description box. And I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!